Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh. Don't know what to say. <laughs> Talk into the mic. Thank you, honey. She's not my boss. But anyways, Eric, you're going to find out. We basically have grown up together. We started dating when I was 15 and you were 16, and every single stage has been better and better, and I just love you more and more each day. But I am so excited to see you today, and I cannot wait to marry you. Carrie, it's our big day. We've been waiting many years for this day. You were my first crush, the first girl I've ever loved. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Can't wait to have an awesome day with you. There is no one more kind, thoughtful, sweet, loving, understanding, and easygoing than her. Although I often give her a hard time for being so nice to everyone and not always standing her ground, I think my favorite thing about her is her ability to bring out the best in people. You know, I'm feeling a little judged. To Carrie and Eric. Eric and I have shared some of my greatest memories from childhood through adolescence to today. And um, Carrie's been along the ride the whole way and it's been, it's been wonderful seeing you guys grow together. Um, and just like back then, I blocked for you, I protected for you, and I'm always here for you, both of you guys, for whatever you need throughout life, I'm here for you. It's crazy to me that we're all here today to show our love and support for these two amazing people. It feels crazy because I swear it was just yesterday <laughs> that I was sharing a room with Carrie, convincing her to clean while I read her books or naps. Welcome everybody. Marriage is one of God's absolute greatest gifts that was given to us first in the garden, um, in the garden where he first gave it to Adam and Eve. It is one of the most precious gifts in life that we've ever been given. Who is it that gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My baby girl told me this was before the, hey, you have to do a welcome speech, was, hey, Dad, um, you need to get your tux. And this was Friday night, sitting in the hot tub, and, oh, Monday is the last day. So thank God it wasn't prom season at Men's Warehouse at Easton. So weddings like this are always exciting for me to to get to do a marriage for two people I've known for quite some time and got to see just their their life together go from, from the very beginning. And it's it's really cool to get to share this moment with you guys today. Try to get, get through this without uh, cracking my voice here. but So I was searching for the uh, values that I thought would make me a good husband. And I thought it was the same values that make me a good soldier. 
I vow to always be loyal to you and our family, making you the number one priority even when I'm away. I vow to always carry out the duties given to me as a husband and a father. I vow to always respect, respect you, your feelings, and your decisions as a wife and a mother. I vow to demonstrate selfless service to our family by putting our priorities first. So, Eric and Gary, like, I don't even know where to start. You guys were like high school sweethearts to then, you know, dog parents, and, you know, you guys got a house together and now you're married. So, it's, it seems like such a long time coming that we all saw it, but today still feels so, so special. Eric, I saw an interview from a New York Times bestselling author that I feel embodies my promise to you. She was asked how she keeps a positive work-life balance, and her response was along the lines of imagine life as juggling glass and plastic balls. The glass balls signify things like family, friends, health, and spirit, while the plastic balls rep represent work and everyday tasks. If you drop a plastic ball, it'll bounce back, but if you drop a glass ball, there's a chance it'll shatter. To know happiness, you have to learn the difference between the glass and plastic balls. <laughs> I know I worry about the plastic balls more than I should half the time, and I rely on you to catch them before they hit the ground. But my promise to you is that I will always class catch the glass ones. I'm so proud of the both of you, and I know that you two make the perfect team. Today will be a day that you'll never forget, and I feel so blessed to be a part of it. I love you both. Lastly, Carrie, I just want to say that I adore you, and whatever happens in life, we'll get through it together. If you ask Carrie, she might have had her eyes laid out on him way back in fifth grade when she used to ask him to wait for her to get off the bus so that she could walk into school together with Eric. Eric, do you take Carrie to be your lawfully wedded wife? And do you promise before God and these witnesses here today that you will be true, uh, be to her true and devoted husband, true to her in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in prosperity and in adversity, and that forsaking all others, you will keep yourself to her and to her only as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you take Eric to be your lawfully wedded husband? And do you promise before God and these witnesses here today that you will be to him a true and devoted wife, true to him in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in prosperity and in adversity, and that forsaking all others, you will keep yourself to him and to him only, as long as you both shall live. I do. And so it is therefore, by the virtue and authority invested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, by the church, uh, church of Christ in accordance with the laws of God and the sovereign state of Ohio, that I now get to pronounce you husband and wife. Ooh. What God has joined together, let no one separate. I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Eric and Caroline Owens. May all of your kisses throughout all the years be as passionate and full of love as this, the first kiss of your married life together. Eric, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> now introducing to you Mr. and Mrs. Eric and Caroline Owens. Woo!